we debated over here, y'all. Come on with it. All right, all right, all right. What's up with y'all? Once again, welcome back to another debate club, you know. Presented by Game Comments and all kind of illness, man. You know who I am already. I ain't got to keep saying my name. Hopefully, y'all know me by now. I've been in about two years, almost two years strong. So, hopefully, y'all know the name by now. But tonight, y'all, we're going to talk about this Nicki Minaj uh, retirement announcement and all of this. You know what I'm saying? As I'm sitting here looking at facts and everything up on Miss Minaj, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't know too much about her. I know about her music and everything, but I ain't know too much about her um, per se. So, I like that. Did a few little background checks and some research, man. You know, one she born in '82, so she she's an '80 baby. You know what I mean? Saint uh, Saint James Trinidad Tobago. You know, same way she was born. So, you know what I mean? She's uh, not native to the land, but she's native to the land. You know what I mean? Uh, surprisingly, I didn't know that she was worth like 75 million, um, as stated right here. Um, it's crazy, uh, but you know, you already know what record label she was on. You know what I'm saying? Young Money and all that. And they got her genre as like four or five things. You know what I'm saying? But in essence, um, why I think she decided to cut herself off of the game right now is because if you look at it, she is 36. Um, there is a lot of people around here, even probably in her inner circle that got families you know and they looking real comfortable with their families right now and her she know she's a star or whatever but she's getting older she ain't gonna be at the top of the charts and popping forever forever so i think she decided you know what i mean ain't no time like the present to just retire and right and really nowadays you don't retire in the game you just take Two or three years off and then somebody be like yo get on the track with me and then you hear him hopping on the track with him and all of a sudden they reactivate it again so it's stuff like that so but i think i got like two sides to this because i really didn't really don't matter to me but it matters to people around me so i think i'm gonna give my opinion on why i think from both sides or i can view it from both sides because i'm neutral in this thing um for the, her her barbs or barbies or whatever she call them the reason that it was so stunning to them is because you know they queen just basically decided to give up the throne but i'm sorry to say you cannot be a queen if you don't have an official king and from what i'm seeing her her fans don't like her boyfriend at all no more because she was just like hey well, i'm finna settle down with homie and do this little thing Let's try to start this family and get that going. You know, she got enough money, dude, so I don't think she need the money. But I think the fans is mad at her because she ain't going to be barbying it up no more. But y'all got to look at it like this. That's, that lady is getting up in age. She want a family. She want to settle down. She don't want to be camera flashed every two or three seconds for y'all pleasure. So y'all got to chill out. You know what I'm saying? Let her do her. You know what I mean? So, from the fans' st uh, point of view, I understand that y'all gonna miss the music, you gonna miss the image, you gonna miss half her ass hanging out and half her titty popping out of everything, you know? But, you, you gotta take that. You gotta take that L. You know what I'm saying? She wanna start a family. One of y'all, to the, one of y'all Kendall niggas or whatever she called the, the dudes that like Nicki Minaj, um, Y'all should have went in there and got her. Yeah. He didn't get her. Homeboy decided to go ahead and slide in, and he had just enough and what it took to go ahead and get it. So, I, hey, y'all can't be mad at that. Don't be mad at that, man. And don't try to shame him because she want to start a family with him because he talking the right game to her. I mean, he talking the right game to her. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't in there with her at nighttime. Y'all ain't in the bed with her at nighttime. Um, pillow talking. So, Whatever him and her doing and whatever he did to get her to say, hey, you know what? I think I can chill out for a minute and start this little family and everything. I I will not be surprised within the next year and a half to two years, Nicki Minaj is pregnant with a baby and on her way to marrying dude. And y'all really going to be sick. Cause then 
she ain't gonna be out there talking about all that other stuff that she used to talk about and all the stuff that y'all liked her for. So now y'all gotta just deal with the simple fact that she's a um she's a missus and a mama or she's gonna be a missus and a mama soon. So hey y'all. Y'all should be happy with her just for that. Y'all fans is is wild out here, man. These people are not entities. They are social entities. But they are not physical or spiritual entities. They are regular people like we are. And they they have wants and needs. They have talents that we all like to see, I guess, and view and observe and, you know, critique and do all this other stuff with. But you also got to peel back. You got to peel back the skin on the banana and realize, like, oh, man, yeah. yeah it is like meat under there. It ain't just air. So... She's not retiring. Nicki Minaj retiring. She's not retiring, dog. She's taking a break, probably. Say she wanna have a family. I can feel that, but she's not retiring. Don't believe that shit, nigga. I mean, she might need to retire. She going back and forth with academics. She wilding. You know? I don't know. And she done went through a lot of shit. She had a hell of a run. As far as female MCs, nobody had that run. And she should be proud of that shit. But, you know, sometimes you gotta fall back. Let them get the miss of you. Come back. I mean, she got the bag, nigga. That's definitely. So, you know. Maybe she wanna do some movies and shit, you know what I'm saying? Pop out a couple kids. Get a club shot up, you know how that go. But yeah, I don't think she trying, nigga. All rappers, that that that's a marketing plan that been going on since Biggie, nigga. I'm gonna retire. Jay-Z pulled the shit three times, nigga. Master P pulled it. Jeezy's pulling it. What you see right now, he's basically he's telling you his contract with Def Jam is over. That's all that shit is about. I think it might be the same for her. Or it might be a way for her to get out of her contract. Who the fuck knows? She ain't retiring, nigga. And what's crazy to me with her is yeah, you're not selling records like you used to. You still selling records. So, you know how this shit go, man. Everybody retired. I I said I was going to retire from a lot of shit I do, nigga. And still doing it. But, that's just my take on it. If I was a fan of hers, I wouldn't be mad at her. I'd be like, man, go ahead and do your thing. We finna bump all your old albums and turn up off them. Then when you come back, because I'm pretty sure Shorty gonna come back. Um, when you come back, we finna be, yeah, turn up, turn up. Let's get it. She might have lost uh, fans, but I can guarantee, I can guarantee you she gonna gain some. Um, especially when it comes to, like, young mothers. She probably gonna gain a few mothers. Uh, she's probably going to soccer my husband most definitely. He's going to be banging Nicki Minaj every day when she start having a kid and doing all the, the motherly kid thing. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. But if from the fan standpoint, I see why y'all mad, but y'all can't be too mad. Now, from the non-fan point, I'm going to tell y'all like this. Leave that lady alone. Let that lady do what the hell she want to do, man. She ain't got to be out here lonely and sad and tore all up in the game because y'all feel that it's only right for y'all to observe that. She ain't no damn soap opera. Let her roll. If she want to start a family with homie, let her start a family. Look at the chick. She done been on tour for years. She done been city to city for years. She ain't never had the time to sit the fuck down and just chill. She never had time for that. 
now she got time for it because she done made enough money, she done made her presence known enough, and she done got a big enough name in the game to where she could say, hey, whatever, I can retire now, and if I want to, I can pop back out in the game. Now, as far as the, the top ranked females in the game, by these standards nowadays, yeah, she gonna go down as one of the best in the game. But as far as like overall, overall female artist, she's in the middle of the pack. But her retiring right now is probably gonna keep her in the middle of the pack. You know what I mean? Um, do she got any iconic albums? I don't know. If she do, y'all leave them in the comment and let me know. But I don't really listen to Nicki. I've listened to a few verses of hers, like whenever doing research or that one song monster because she killed it on monster that's what like i first ever heard of this chick but when she did that on monster i was like okay she kind of she kind of nice you know what i'm saying she gonna rep for the females you know i was right you know what i'm saying she did her thing but she had she got scraped up along the way you know what i'm saying the remy ma beef she did not come out of that flawless ever since that happened ever since the remy ma beef happened Nicki Minaj went from on top to in the middle to almost touching the ground because she was fall, she fell off a little bit. She didn't know what to do for for a big chunk of her life. She was beefing with Remy and Cardi, and everybody know what the results of the Cardi thing was. Now she, Cardi is one of the hugest artists in the game as far as females is right now, and she didn't overdid Nicki within. A few months, a few months and a few a few years actually. I'm sorry, cause she been in there for a few uh, the months too, cause she been killing it on the charts with the months. You know, y'all know what I'm trying to correlate. She been killing it for a minute, and she didn't surpass Nicki as the the favorite female, you know, snappy artist. You know, what I mean, the snappy I am woman type artist. You know, what I'm saying or or bad chick. You know, what I mean, mantra, but from an, a non fans point the only thing I'm saying is that she was right to do it you know what I mean I'm not gonna call her whack and nothing like that cause she had some hot verses you know what I'm saying she didn't say some she didn't been able to spit some stuff you know what I'm saying I don't listen to her like that but I will give her her props now is she better than Remy lyrically no not at all and we all seen that is she better than most of these lyrical lyrical females H to the devil, e, H to the E, devil hockey stick, no. But she is on the pinnacle of her little genre, which is, I would say, contemporary pop rap. She is the queen of contemporary pop rap. She can, she can mix it up with those type of styles. She can go to the da-da-da-da-da, you know, she got the island vibe, so she can hit the, the island, you know, bum da and then... She can switch it back to the, you know what I'm saying? She grimy, gritty, you know what I'm saying? From NY, so she can hit it with the, with the straight East Coast flow, the yeah, yeah, son, and nah, nah, you know, all that. And then she's also a woman, so she can hit you with the hey, hey, hey. So she, she got feels that she, she didn't came from, and she didn't manipulate, not manipulated, but she didn't took over the game with. <laughs> I was finna say manipulated, but I was, I meant it like she got in the game and did what she wanted to do with it. So. You know what I'm saying? She manipulated it to the way that she needed it to work for her. But, you know what I'm saying? Big ups to that chick, man. Um, y'all leave her alone, man. Y'all let that girl go in here and, and marinate, man, and do her thing, man. She'll be out in a, in a couple years. And when she come out, y'all will be all right, man. You know what I mean? But as far as my opinion goes on it, I think it was the right time for her. She getting up there in, the, in age. Um, the game has changed rapidly. And before you know it, it'll be a whole new style in like two years. And the style that was popping right now, right now, will be considered old. So, big up to her one more again. And one more again, y'all leave that lady alone. If y'all wanted to holler at her, y'all should have hollered at her and locked her down. And y'all would have been hated like the dude that's hitting it right now. You know what I'm talking about? But I got a few more people, man, that I think is going to add some stuff on this. So, minus me talking right here, I'm going to go ahead and let uh, a few more people in on this little subject. So, y'all go ahead and
and I'll be right back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, y'all, what? All that being said, and all that being heard, we're going to go ahead and end this video right here. Yo, Nikki, I don't know you. You don't know me. You probably will never hear this video. Um, I support you when it comes to you starting a family, man. Do your thing. I got a child myself, so I know the importance of one. Do your thing, girl. Uh, tell them haters what you tell them haters, I guess. You know what I mean? And I'm going to tell my people what I tell my people. I'm going to get at y'all later, man. Just top that. I'm out right now. Peace.